What totally obvious scam do people still fall for? Anything where the government is asking for gift cards as payment. Why would the IRS want iTunes gift cards, people? The websites that let you bid on expensive sh for cheap prices. I'll say some of those sites work, but it's definitely not the same quality. Your computer is infected with 7 virus. Click here to install immediately an antivirus and protect your computer. The IRS has said over and over again, and they say it every year, and it is on the news, etc. We will never call you. Yet people fall for that all the time. Copy and paste this on your Facebook page to remove Facebook's right to your pictures and information. Always surprises me how stupid people can can be printer ink. I don't run into this problem because <laughs> I don't own a printer. $399.99. This chair is only $300. Hey everybody and welcome back to Ask MK. My name's Brandon and you wouldn't believe it, but we've got some more questions. So let's get to reading. Who is the most overrated person in history? Waldo. Well, he would be more rated if we could find the man. Henry VIII. Let's be honest. All he did was strong arm the church so he could marry another woman. That fat, greedy sod. Oh boy. Ioannis Metaxas? He was the leader of Greece from 1936 to 1941, most famous for not surrendering to fascist Italy during World War II. The only problem is that Metaxas was a fascist dictator himself. Yeah, yeah, I didn't say that. <laughs> Who's, who speaks Greek anyways? My sister. I do stuff too, mom. Erwin Schrodinger. He is both overrated and underrated simultaneously. Ah, I see what you did there. Let's be real here. Who isn't overrated? I guess you got a point there. What is a red flag from an employer that people might not immediately recognize as a red flag? Having to take an online IQ test before even being considered for an interview. Yikes, that seems weird. When an employee quits or gets fired from the job and the company doesn't hire anyone new to replace them, they try to sell you their service during your interview. It was really, really bad. To me, it was a, we will start you low and we'll give you a ton of money later. They never do? Never happens. If the job description has a non-descriptively massive salary range, 25k to 100k. I know people rightfully like to hate on HR, but if a company brags about not having an HR department to deal with, expect them to be very disorganized at a minimum. You have to cook one dish for Gordon Ramsay. If he doesn't like it, you will die. What dish do you cook for him? Eh, it takes about 60 years to make. Just be patient, G. I'll microwave some salad. Nah, I'm gonna go out and find that company that that sells that chocolate cake on the one Kitchen Nightmares or Hotel Hell or whatever that the chef cut in half and Gordon was like, no, I want the whole damn thing, and then stated that it was actually good, only to be told it was ordered in from a company. Yeah, I'm buying that. Screw cooking. I want to live. And I know he likes it. Eh, it could be considered cheating, but you're being resourceful. Maruchan ramen. I can nail that. Honestly, if you can't cook ramen, then I don't... <laughs> you're beyond help at this point. Pufferfish. Whole. I'm not going out by my myself. Peanut butter sandwich. Two pieces of bread. Butter. Handful of peanuts still in the shell. A glass of water. It's not necessarily a meal, but you'll hydrate them. What's the adult version of there is no Santa Claus? And if this is how you found out, I'm so sorry. You are on your own. No one is coming to the rescue. You aren't getting paid based on how good you are. You are paid based on how hard you are to replace. When they hire you on the spot, it's not because you're an amazing person with so many credentials. It's because it's a really job and they desperately need to fill it for the third time this month. It's a lot harder to make friends after college. That is likely the last organic friend-making environment you will ever be in. That's not completely true. You can make friends at work and wherever else, too. Somebody you know hates you for no reason. They probably don't even know why themselves. And no matter how hard you try, no matter what you do in life, you will never, ever change that. Retirement is not a physical age. It is a financial state. When you realize that Santa is indeed real, and it's you. I think the real Santa was the friends we made outside of college. What is an odd behavior of yours you think only you do? I hold my breath when someone walks by in a confined space because I don't want to breathe their essence in. I don't know. I mean, I do that because of the whole, like, you know, the stuff going on outside, but fair enough. I rub my feet together in a circular motion when I'm in bed and getting ready to sleep. My boyfriend calls it cricketing. Does it make noise too? My dog and I have arguments when he barks. 
barks, he will hear someone in our hallway outside and start barking every time. I tell him shh, and he barks again, slightly less loudly this time. This continues until I can barely hear him, but he has to get the last word in. Drives me up the wall. My hands being wet makes me angry. I'm not a confrontational slash aggressive person, but if my hands were wet and someone came at me, I'd be probably four times more likely to be aggressive back at them. When a page is taking a long time to load on my laptop, I rotate my index finger clockwise and it makes me feel like it makes the page load faster. I've noticed I often sniff when I enter a room so I don't scare people by just talking out of nowhere. I've picked that one up myself because I scare my roommates very easily. In the shower, I slowly rotate to keep myself evenly warm. I do it unconsciously now, like a rotisserie chicken. What happened at your work which caused multiple people to all quit at once? The boss went off on a tirade on me for something that wasn't my fault and I got him to scream, people like you are expendable pieces in this company and I can replace you tomorrow if I wanted to. 80% of the engineers quit the next day, simply didn't show up, including me. They decided after six years it was time to do a drug test. Even lost the CEO in that great idea. Word slipped out that the whole accounting department was being replaced so they all resigned all at once. We stopped providing free coffee and were so cheap that we sold our coffee maker. This was in Seattle, so a couple of people bought their own coffee makers to put in their cubes. That tripped the breakers several times so it was very disruptive since our computers would shut down. Management then said no coffee allowed in the office at all. We lost four very good engineers. We just had a company-wide, except the directors of course, pay cut of 20% and a four-day work week instead of five. Everyone including myself are currently looking for work and they will lose their workforce oh so quickly. Company changed from five to eight hour shifts to a 12 hour shift rotation. What was the weirdest thing the weird kid did at school? In high school, this kid would regularly pick his nose and eat it in class. He was also caught masturbating to girls in the school library and on a school bus. He got suspended for a week and had to register as a sex offender. Ew, gross. He heard that you'd automatically get suspended if you peed your pants at school. He wanted to find out if it was true. Peed his pants, got suspended. Sort of a weird punishment on the school's end. Like, what if, you know, you just accidentally piss your pants? Oh no. We had a guy who wore a dragon tail, believing he was a dragon, and same story for a different guy, but his thing was wearing a cat bell. There were lots of rumors about cat bell guy. He would say very obscure elements on the periodic table and start singing about it as if it were his friend. We were like seven or eight, showing us a video he uploaded to YouTube of him cutting his poop in half with a hanger as it was laying in the toilet bowl. What is wrong with people? His locker only ever had three things in it. His American flag cape, one of those foldable razor scooters, and a box turtle. Box turtle? In the locker? Jumping on the giant Christmas tree from the second floor balcony. That was the last time they put a Christmas tree on our school. What non-sexual fantasies do you have? Kind of a weird classification? Sometimes when I'm out in the woods, I'm really tempted to get as lost as I can, or when I'm driving, to just keep going. Not because I hate my life, but because if I could start over somewhere where no one knew me, I would. Pause the time and have few hours more for my job. Assignment, sleep, etc, etc, etc. A beautiful garden, growing my own fruit and veg, keeping chickens for eggs and being as self-sustainable as possible. Being able to walk from my doorstep to the beach to watch the sunset with someone I love. Just nature and peace, TBH. Have that perfect day by doing a bunch of different things with someone I can connect with on a deep level. <laughs> Sounds like maidenless behavior to me. Being able to fly. Not in a plane, just me. A bathtub that is deep enough the water covers my boobs and my knees and is long enough I can lay flat on the bottom. Oh god, I didn't think that was one of mine, but <laughs> add it to the list. Savings. No debt. Being able to retire one day. Don't we all? What is one thing that instantly makes you think this person has no manners? Standing in the middle of the aisle at a grocery store and not returning the cart. People who let their kids run around in a movie theater, kick the back of your seats repeatedly, and hang on you. Coughing or sneezing without covering your mouth. It's so easy, people. We've learned this. We've had to do this for like three years. When you offer your time and money to drive someone and they don't thank you for the ride. Littering. Yeah, that's a pretty clear cut sign that that person is going to hell. People who don't use turn signals drives me crazy. Blasting music on the bus. Absolute 
accents. <laughs> is a good accent, right? When they walk into an elevator before you have a chance to get off. Same with buses and subways. What's something that gets an unnecessary amount of hate? Old people doing young people trends. They just want to be a part of the fun. Tom from Tom and Jerry. He just wants to chill while that little piece of annoys him all the time. Guy Fieri. Why does he, does he get hate? I haven't seen that. The word moist. I'm just describing this nice cake I'm eating and you're acting like I'm reciting ancient curses from the satanic bible. Everything Reddit decides it doesn't like. That one spoon in your kitchen you hate for no reason. It's any of the big ones. Don't know why I bothered buying them, but I will never use them. The most celebrated Canadian alt-rock band of the mid-90s, the Barenecked Ladies. You're choosing a band name. The name must include a type of pasta. What are you going to call your band. Penne wise. That's actually kind of nice. I like that. Or so it seems. Ah, I like these puns. The penne dreadfuls. Ooh. Lasagna del Rey. <laughs> Come on, these aren't even funny. It's a country band, so Spaghetti Western, Reggae Tony, Lest We Spaghetti, an 80s cover band called the We Built This ZD. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I guess pasta-based puns kind of get to me. What does your crazy neighbor do to be labeled the crazy neighbor? She dug up my fancy flowers and replanted them in her own yard, 15 feet away. She has a penchant for going around sticking nails in people's tires at night. This has happened dozens of times to nearly everyone on the street, though she's slowed down since more people started installing video cams and motion sensor lights in their driveways. Pulled us over pretending to be a police officer, saying that we had somehow broken the law whilst pulling out of our driveway and that she was going to call it in. She isn't a cop, lol. He jumped in front of my car while I was driving down the road to yell at me for going through his trash at night. Told him it was probably raccoons. He refuses to believe it to this day. Took my parents to court because he lost in our HOA chairman election. Some people just have too much free time. The old lady who lived below me left me multiple cryptic letters blaming me for the birds chirping too loudly in the mornings. Not pet birds. The sparrows and shit outside. This went on for months. Are you afraid of dying? If so, why? Because I'm right behind you and if you don't answer fast, I'm gonna get you. That's the way to word this question. Yes, I am. I'm not scared of being dead, but I'm very scared of becoming dead. I'm even more scared of nearly dying but surviving with a up brain or something. I think I'd just be disappointed. My life has gotten to a place I enjoy after struggling for a long time. It would suck to die after all the hard work. Not really, but I am afraid of painful death, so hopefully it's painless when it happens. My best friend had a near-death experience the other day. The day after, we chilled and he told me that little accident made him realize he actually is scared of death because there's so much he still needs to do. I wasn't, but now I am because I have more to lose. People who work in human resources. What is the weirdest sh you have seen? Got a call from our office in India that staff who supported the night shift were running a brothel from the office. They didn't know they couldn't do that. Still fired. They tried to appeal the decision. Did not work. Worked for a large trucking company. Every employee would get a present on their birthday in the mail and their names on the video board. This week's birthdays are a guy called to ask if his name could not be on the board. Reason, his twin brother murdered his parents and he did not want to be reminded of his birthday. Oh, I once had a temp job in HR. I was scanning lots of old personnel files, and the one perk of the job was reading old complaints against people. The best one I came across was a mediation caused by one member of staff accusing another of witchcraft. The maintenance guy had been living up above the ceiling of the building. He had built a little cubby living area with electricity and a small fridge and everything. Someone murdered their husband, then called the next day from jail and asked our department for bereavement pay. Oh my god, you have to be crazy in that? I guess they are. I mean, they killed their husband. Lastly, my name is Brandon and I will see you in the next one.